Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Ryan Talbot, and this is a little bit of an update to my previous tutorial, which showed you how to incorporate Substance Painter with Cinema 4D and Octane Render in your workflow. And the reason I have to make this is because I found this amazing script, which revolutionizes that workflow even more. So what it does is it creates a live link between Substance Painter and Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So all you have to do is hit one button and it will perfectly translate all your materials from Substance Painter into Cinema 4D and Octane with a click of a button. So it sounds too good to be true, but it's not. Let me show you guys. Okay, so in this video, I'm not gonna show you how to install the plugin because there is already plenty of documentation on that on the studio's YouTube channel. So go check that out first, and I'm just gonna show you how this works. So once you have it installed, you're gonna find this little hedgehog button right here. And when you click on that, this, this dialog pops up and you can pin this so that even when you click on another window, it still stays in the front, which is nice. So basically, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you select which software you're gonna be exporting to, in my case, Cinema 4D. I select Octane as my renderer. Um, select your output path, resolution, format, um, bit depth, and then you have the option to either send only your current texture set or you can send all of them, which will update all the texture sets at once. And I have my settings saved, so you can do that as well. Um, so let's just texture this. Um, let's just throw some smart materials on this desk, which I just found on TurboSquid. So I'm going to throw this uh, wood walnut texture on here. And why don't we put this silver armor texture on the doors. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Looks a little like it's old and beat up. Okay, and let's say I have this textured desk now and I want to uh, export it over to Octane Render. Okay, so the next step is to go down to our plugins menu and grab HH Connect. And clicking on this button will pretty much allow Substance Painter and Cinema 4D to communicate with each other. So I'm going to click Start Server. And right now there's no indication to know whether it's on or off, other than just remembering if you clicked it or not. So I think if the developers are watching this, a cool feature to add would be maybe just a little green button next to it so that we know it's on, and then maybe it turns red when it's off, something like that. So anyways, I'll just dock that there. And now we're ready to transfer our materials. So I still have this Substance Painter window open, and I'm going to hit Send All. And now you'll watch in, down in this corner in just a few seconds, some materials should be popping up. Okay, so we have our materials here all loaded in. And let me just uh, create large icons instead of small so we can read the whole thing. And I'll just move this out of the way. And I'm going to drop these on. So door one, right, door two, handle, handle two, and desk. And check it out. Now you can see if I zoom in here, it's even got bump on it. And it's got proper specular data. And just everything from our material in, in Substance Painter has transferred over perfectly. You can see the index is correct. Um, it's got the roughness map in there and everything and it's, this is just super cool if your mind is not blown right now then I don't know what will impress you <laughs> um, so if I double click on this material and actually open up the node editor you can see exactly what it's doing and this is the this is the material that it just created for you in a matter of seconds um, when you clicked that button so you can see how this totally eliminates the process that I showed you in the last video where you plug in your material maps one at a time. Nope, now you just have to click this one button and it does it all for you. And you can see it's even got some like mixed materials in here. Um, it's adding all these different nodes in here to get it just right. And it's even got a displacement map in there. So check it out. Right now, I just have this uh, wood grain but now let's say I want to go back into Substance Painter and I want to edit this material. Okay, so let's create a new layer. And I want to paint on the height map. So I actually, I have my height already enabled. 
and I'm gonna draw on here and why is it not oh because I don't have the layer selected okay <laughs> now I'm gonna draw on here and you can see I'm just painting whatever and there is actually a height map in here which will translate to displacement when I transfer that back over to Cinema 4D so let's jump back over and I'm gonna hit send current because I don't want to update all five of these textures just the desk and just give that a second to update and check it out so now now we have a height map or a displacement map which translated perfectly in octane render um, so just ah, this is just so cool guys um, I'm this isn't so much a tutorial as just me geeking out and show you showing you something really cool that I think can improve your workflow a lot so um, this is the this is the studio who makes the plugin and it costs ten dollars um, but it's worth every penny in my opinion and this dude is a genius so go support him um, I mean if you already are a professional and you own Cinema 4D and Substance Painter what's another ten dollars um, this is really gonna change your workflow significantly if you use Substance Painter in Cinema 4D hand in hand so yeah that's all I wanted to show you guys for this video anyways um, go show that guy some love if you like this video show me some love leave a comment <laughs> um, but yeah anyways I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching